Have you ever wondered what voiceover feature is? And do you know there are 43 million people have vision impairment? And voiceover is one of the assistive technologies that people who have vision impairment uses day-to-day life to guide their cells through devices. So if you are interested more, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There are two ways you can go to your voiceover. One, go into settings and go all the way down, scroll down, accessibility, and the first choice will be voiceover. Or simply on the screen search, you can type voiceover and then it will come up. Before we activate a voiceover, let's type in learn more. It will give you more commands and interactions and basic navigations how they work. So simple as once to select an item, double tap to activate the selected item, three finger to scroll. So let's say done and go back and activate it. Voice of alert, important. It will read it to you. And if you select it, cancel, you type in cancel once button. and then twice to select it. Voice over off. And then it will disactivate it. The next thing we're going to talk about is how fast do you want the voiceover to talk back to you? Do you want it faster and it represents a rapid or turtle to make it slower? And next underneath it is the speech. If you huddle over for voice, there are a lot of choices that you can pick, whichever is more suitable. To me, uh, Samantha is a default one. And an interesting thing is if you press this I for timber and sentence pauses, you can actually select how much you wanted them to pause in timber. Not only you choose your voice, also pronunciations can be added by simply pressing this plus button. It could be a certain phrase. It could be your friend's name that you would like to pronounce it correctly. And then you can press the phrase and you actually can record it. You can actually select how you want to adjust the pitch. Interesting thing, bottom is detect the languages. And for example, it can be speaking in English and then the voice was going and then it hits a Spanish. We'll uh, go over with that. So for new language, just simply add new language. And from these choices, you can choose them. In voiceover, next thing we'll talk about is Braille. In this one, I do not have much experiences, but I am learning about Braille. Foundation for Blind Children created such an incredible demo video that I will be linked into this video. You can actually press it and check out their video. Next feature we'd like to talk about is a voiceover recognition. Be image description that can describe the images in your app or on the web. The second thing is screen recognition. It will recognize your apps and make it more accessible. And text recognition, uh, it will speak descriptions of the text found in the images. Today we talked about what are the features on iOS on voiceover. If you would like to learn more about it, please leave a comment. Or if you have any questions, please let us know. And we'll see you for the next video.